Hello, today I want to say and give some advice on how to save a lot of money building in Ghana. Let's take for example my roofing, the woodwork. I had one carpenter and one laborer, which added up in total to 680 cities, I think, for the complete woodwork to be done. It is quite, I pay daily. And because I pay daily and I have the circular saw, a meter saw, and the small chainsaw, two people were able to do that in eight days, eight working days. A contract, my foreman told me for this roof might be 6,000. Five to seven, he said, so around six. I paid not even 20% of what the contract for this roof would be. Same story is with cement. People buy 100 bucks, have to worry about how do I get this 100 bucks from shop to your site. If you buy bulk, buy 1,000. The cement will come to you, no matter what, it will come to you for free. Plus the cement will be on wholesale price, means you save a city or so at least towards the cheapest shop in your town. Next thing. Don't do any form of contracts. Only keep all your trades on a daily basis. Daily basis allows you to fire them if something is not right. They don't calculate, oh, we do this, it's maybe 6,000 CDs we take from you, because we know we might have a thief there, or we might have that issue, and we don't want any uh, complications. So they just add things like that into their calculation. At the end, you're paying for stuff you shouldn't pay. If you do it on a daily basis, that is no issue. Wood. Wood for framing of, of concrete castings or the, the roofing also. Don't buy in Accra or wherever you are. Go to the forest areas, Kumasi areas, Techiman areas and buy it there on the wood market. Even if you organize a truck getting that stuff to your side, you save money. Next thing, borehole. Any construction site needs water. The first thing I did on this one again was drilling my borehole. There is no way This will cost you money. Yes, the bohol with pump is 10,000 cities. Realistically, if you buy water for a site, it will be more than this 10,000 what you spend until it's finished. And at the end, you still get your bohol. So just do it straight ahead. Same story with electricity. At least on my side, I have more than 40 power tools here. I need light. Running all that on generator would be silly, as you need light anyway. So I've built, pulled up those light poles, a number of them, to get the light to sight. Light in Ghana is cheap, that is if it's there and not plug out. I think these are some small advices that are helping. Another one. If you buy sand, there are different sizes of trucks. The cheapest is mostly not the best. And about plastering. Sieve your sand. Take a mosquito net. No matter how good or clean you think your sand is, there will be plenty clay and things in it. You don't want to have it in your sand. This is the leftover from the sieved sand. After sieving, it's perfect. It can compete. It's just perfect. Now, there's nothing in it. This is just the rubbish on the floor that is left over. Even for mortar, I sieved the sand. That's the sand heap, that's the rubbish heaps. All this stuff shouldn't be in the mortar. A lot is clay, 
and, and, and stuff you definitely don't want in mortar. It's not costly sieving and not in Ghana. For sieving, we take a mosquito net. And the difference in sand is this to that. <laughs> 